Yeah, hi. Alrighty, folks, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late, out of date AEW Dynamite review. Thank God I missed this show. So I missed this show, actually. And thank God I did. And it's funny how I, I even see that a lot of AEW fans have literally <laughs> said this was like probably like. A, uh, this was a bad dynamite. But they, they would still say that this was better than Raw for somehow. Even though, again, I keep saying this. Modern wrestling sucks. WWE and AEW suck. When a show sucks, it sucks. Okay? Let's be for real here. This was a terrible fucking dynamite. I rewatched some highlights. Well, I mean, I just tried to rewatch the entire show on, on highlight form of what I missed. And boy, did I... Uh, <laughs> Boy, did I did I really? I'm happy I missed this show. I'm really happy I did, cause what a waste, and what a shit show this was. This was fight for the fallen, more like fight for the ass. Okay, seriously, it was fucking, just it was the show, fucking straight up ass, a stinky fucking asshole. I swear to God, shit show. Okay, grabbing Coca Colas. Drinking my nicely, so I miss bitches go, oh shit, oh shit, okay, people? This show was trash. Like, my god. I don't know what they were thinking with this show. Or just basically, how they booked this entire show. You had a pay per view coming up, by the way. You had a pay per I understand, they're, they're like rushing to build to this pay per view clearly. They literally, this entire show. They basically rushed to build to, like, the supposed matches that are happening at fucking All In. But my god. Like, these matches, like, who the fuck cares? <laughs> okay? And there's like... Oh, man. It's like, what were you... What were they thinking when they made this show? What were they thinking? And especially didn't help that, again, they did a Texas Chainsaw Massacre match. And... For literally no reason. It was just literally like no different than the whole. Like, and whenever Matt, anybody does a stupid. Whenever. Okay. Dirty gets criticized when they do a product placement match. Okay? Remember when Backlash happened with that fucking zombie match or whatever? That was a product placement match. This match was literally no different. This was basically another product placement match. Which I'm surprised that they're doing in. Uh, what? They're doing. What was it? Texas Chainsaw's already having another movie coming out, I believe. Not that I fucking care. Whatever. I don't know if there's a movie. I heard there's a video game coming out. I didn't know there was another film. Like, I know, like, last year they had a film on Netflix. And that fi fucking Netflix film was fucking shit. So, I don't know what to tell you. But anyways. That that was basically the main thing that people were doing. Or that was the main big thing of the show. And boy, did that fucking stink, huh? Anyways, uh, the show started with the TNT, whatever it is, well, fuck that TNT, it's the fucking stupid ass, what's the stupid, it's the stupid ass title, it's the fucking North America, what's it, the international title, it's the one that Orange Cassidy has, it always starts the show, he always starts the show, and like, who fucking cares, like seriously, who cares about Orange fucking Cassidy, so Orange Cassidy defeats Wheelie Yuta to retain the international title, uh, then the Blackpool Comic Club attacks Orange Cassidy. They attack like best friends or whatever. Then eventually, I believe the I believe the Lucha Bros comes out. But then Eddie Kingston comes out. He returns or whatever the fuck. Eddie, uh, and he goes after Claudio. And then Eddie Kingston's like, you know, I'm tired of this. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna have a stadium stampede match. I I thought I thought all in. I thought if memory serves me right, I thought Stadium Stampede was sports entertainment, right? That fucking John Moxie. Like for people that I don't clearly know what the fuck A double didn't fucking John Moxie said that no, we're not doing a stadium stampede because that's like sport entertainment esque, right? They're doing a stadium set and stampede. When Eddie Kingston is not like he's against sports entertainment and shit, right? Y'all contradict to your show. So, yeah. 
they're doing a stadium stampede. Even basically, they contradicted their argument, and they're doing it because get it, we're gonna be in a stadium. Whatever. Okay. It is what it is. I don't know. Um, no, nor do I care. <sighs> Kenny Omega is interviewed by Jim Ross. Uh, he talked about Don Callis, how he's like a family member and shit like that. But he's like torn. They got, he, he uh, you know, left. He whatever did what he did. Um, Don Callis then in interrupts or whatever. And then, uh, I don't know. He says something or whatever. I don't know. I don't even fucking know. All I know is that, oh, the Bullet Club Gold and Takeshita attacked, um, uh, Attack Kenny and whatever. And I thought this was, you know, the Bullet Club are just like the elite, and I don't fucking know, nor do I care. Hangman arrives in the hospital, looks like he's taken to the hospital, and he's very severely beat up. And then Hangman says, you know, Kenny's not friendless. He has Hangman and he has Kota Ibushi, and we're gonna and we're gonna get our revenge at Fall In. So basically, they're doing a a shitty six man tag that no one gives a fuck about. And it's gonna have Kota Ibushi and Hangman. When everybody, like, everybody wanted a six man tag with CM Punk and FTR versus, you know, versus the Elite, right? They wanted that match. Apparently, Kenny Omega is okay with doing a match with Punk, but yet they're not doing that at all, all in, or even all out. You would think that's what they might do, you know? <sighs> If you would think that's something that would, they would have done instead, or so, like some sort of way to acknowledge. Again, you're missing an opportunity. Like it or not, you're missing an opportunity with this whole media scrum issue. With this whole shit about like what's going on backstage, you're missing an opportunity. Like, we kind of know. Like, you want to make it reality based, you should des definitely take what's going on in real life, turn it into a storyline. But you're literally missing the opportunity because the Young Bucks won't do business or whatever. But Tony Khan will listen to Punk. I don't know. He'll listen to all these fucking people because he's all buddy buddy with these people. It's like, come on, can you be a bo fucking boss? I'm fucking up. It's funny that they also mentioned kind. Of, they actually kind of mentioned this in the MJF segment. So we'll talk about this. Jericho uh, and uh, is then then talks to uh, Don Callis. Makes this decision. He says. He agrees to be in the Don Callis family, and Don is cut off, but he's happy. So, like, he's like, he's like, he couldn't believe that happened. Then Jericho realized uh, that there's a cover painting in the ring. Callis is trying to tell him, like, no, no, don't, no, don't, don't open it. And then he, it reveals that Callis is holding Jericho's head. So it turns out Callis expected that Jericho to say no. Jericho calls him out, and Callis just slap, slaps his face. But he says, you know, you're, you're, you're making an enemy out of me, blah, blah, blah. You know, I was going to be selfish, but then I realized you're just you're just a scum. Kyle slaps him, but then he takes him to the fucking corner. Takeshita goes to attack Jericho. But then Jericho, um, then Jericho, like, fights him off. But then Will Ospreay, Will Ospreay attacks him. You know, also people want to see Omega and Osprey 3, even though not that I care. But, like, with, I don't fucking know. Osprey attacks Jericho, and then, yeah, Jericho's like bloody up. So there you go. But then, but Sammy Guevara comes out to save Jericho. So that's what happened. Um, so yeah, that's what that's yeah. Darby Allen and and was it the fucking Nick guy, whatever the kid, the fucking young guy that's like again, why why oh, you know he's a kid. He he it's okay if he fucks up. Guy, he, he's fucking. He's a kid. Okay, he's not like. Come on, we gotta call out when he's not doing right. Like, why you have him on the show? You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna wait. Uh, I lost my. I lost it. What the fuck happened? They show what? What happened? Oh my god! The, the, this fucking stupid face. This fucking Facebook. Show, I hate fucking Facebook. They were gonna show something with Dar with Darby. Um. Man, this shit just disappeared, huh? All I remember, all, all I know is that fucking Darby Allen and his Nick, the Nick guy, whatever, the kid, the, the, that new guy, uh, they defeated the Agony, whatever, there's some stupid RH group that nobody gives a fuck about, and why are they freaking doing that? And then the main thing about this was 
Joker Sting returned. Joker Sting returned and basically, like, he had the, the manager of, like, well, the, the manager of the stupid ROH group that Swerve Strickland is, is in. And basically acts like, you know, he, he acts like Joker Sting. You know, we're going to be in a coffin match. It's like, you know, they're all going to say, no, 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 Hey, hey, goodbye. Oh, come back in. I'm, 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 I'm we need to go here or something. So he acts like Joker Sting a little bit. So I like it. You know, joke. That, that's just I mean. If anything, that was like the only thing I could see from this show that I generally enjoyed. That's literally the only thing I enjoyed. Oh yeah, how can I forget? So yeah, this was your late out days AW review. Um, why I didn't do this review? Because I actually went to the movies. I, I was like with family, or whatever. Or I was with cousins to hang out with them. I saw Mission Impossible, and boy, did Mission Impossible prove that Tom Cruise is like one of the last action heroes of today. Like a generally, fun and there's a reason why Top Maverick was one of the top films last year. And for God's sakes, like it just, I just wish the Mission Impossible was like is hopefully views as one of the top fucking films to watch. Fucking Mission Impossible, like it's fucking what. So far, the only movie I saw this far, this year, it doesn't see like woke political bullshit. Okay, so, if you, and literally, fucking Mission Impossible is just way better a film to watch. It was a bit long, though. I gotta say that, though. I don't like that a lot of films nowadays are too fucking long, but for God's sakes, you know, God, how is that film, like, worth watching than anything in fucking modern wrestling? God, if you want action, you want drama, you want story, you want you want entreatment, there, there you go. That's that's something to watch. MJF uh, takes Colt out to Outback Steakhouse so they can know their enemies better. MJ says it's the best food he's ever had in Aussie Open, probably. So yeah, they were kind of I get it. Like it's the Aussie, like, Aussie, Aussie fucking I don't know Outback, whatever. So it's kind of funny because like Outback Steakhouse, get it? We have like you know we have a signature sirloin. MJ says it's the best food he's ever had in Aussie Open, probably eats eats it all the time. He got no chance of beating them now. Cole tells him to snap out of it. Funny part is the guy who made it out past State House aren't even from Australia. LOL. Cole suggests they watch Crocodile uh, Dundee movies to get ready for Aussie Open. M. Given says shows Cole a kangaroo kick and says that's how, how to beat them. Cole and MJF ends up hitting a guy in the back uh, in the back with a double clothesline and Tony Khan freaks out basically. He acts like, you know, I... So we hear, like, behind closed door, he snaps, and Cole and MJF tells him that, you know, you're not cause any backstage incidents. Cole and MJF walk out of office, and like, MJ says that Tony Khan will regret that in 2024. Then Tony Khan comes out and screams, like, what, what, what was that? He says nothing, and then Tim comes like, oh, you know, he acts like a different person. Like, oh, okay, uh, I, you know, uh, you know, he acts like a good guy. He's like, you know, you know, you guys are the best thing I ever do. Like, uh, you know, uh, you, you guys are... Uh, you know, you guys are the best, you know, you, uh, I, I appreciate all of you, uh, live life and all my, life and all my, uh, like, shut up. They kind of, you know, it's funny how they acknowledge that this guy tries to act like a fake tough guy, but he, um, I, I will, I give credit to Tony Khan, he probably knows that he's a fucking goof. So I will give credit to that. So there you go. I give credit to that. Then we get MJF and Adam Cole in the ring. They said to do anything to walk out as AW World Champion. Cole talked about he thought how he would retire when he was injured, but then how he how it broke his heart that he had to stay up all night and cry because he never thought he would get a chance to become the World Champion and him missing all out last year, whatever. whatever. Because Cole has never been champion every company he's ever been, but not in AEW. You never really was the World Champion in, in WWE, so... Which thankfully you didn't. <laughs> but that would change it all in. MJF then talks about how he started wrestling Adam Cole, how, how wrestling Adam Cole was his dream opponent of his. He talked about how he randomly wrote Cody Rhodes in 2018, asked him if he could get him a spot in the original All In show. Cody didn't know him, uh, know him or owe him a damn thing, but Cody agreed and got him on the show. MJ says because of that match, he got Tony Khan's attention and offered him a deal in AEW. He said five years later, MJ is now back in All In, 
but this time it's the world champion in the main event, and he says their friendship with Cole means a lot, but not, not more than his title. MJ says in the end of night he will still be the world champion because he's better than you and you, he knows it. Adam Cole says that's funny because everyone knows the next champion is Adam Cole, baby. So, you know, they do the gay banter, like, you know, get it. Now, I, I'm better than you, actually. I'm like, eh. It's like, okay, get it, blah, blah. Like, the backspace segments are good, but then they proceed to do the gay fucking in ring promos, like, really kind of. Again, I'm better than he. Whatever. MJ and Cole gives each other props afterwards, and Aussie open attacks them, and it's like, who gives a shit, but whatever, they attack them. So yeah, again, I don't like that they're fighting for this stupid fucking title match, where it's like, who gives a shit about ROH? No one knows who the fuck these Aussie people are, like, for God's sakes. Again, this is AEW, I'm watching AEW for AEW, why are we doing this ROH shit or fucking New Japan shit? Like, what the fuck are you doing? Fuck this, fuck out of here. And it's like, again, they're fighting for, like, the consolation prize in a way. They're fighting for, literally, the, the, the title that's not, doesn't mean more. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> like, fucking A. It's basically, they're basically, like, fighting again. We're not going to fight for the title that Roman has, but we're going to fight for the title that Seth Rollins has type of deal. Because we know damn well the world title that Roman has matters more. Because that's the main title. That's, come on. Whatever. We, we see that, oh, they take out Aussie Open, but then Adam Cole looks like he's going to kick him, and he doesn't, blah, blah, blah. Then they hug him, blah, blah, blah. It is what it is. That was okay. I don't know. It is what it is. Did Jericho uh, challenge Will Ospreay for All In? Some people said they might as well, they should have just done a tag match with Sammy versus, which, okay. Which I, I, I understand why they would rather see that, but, like, whatever. I don't know. I don't care. It is what it is. Then, this is the match that people basically look forward to, and they're wondering, what the fuck were they thinking of doing this? So I saw this uh, online on the highlights. I mean, I saw all the show on the highlights. It's like I was not impressed with the entire show in general. But my fucking God, this match, what the fuck was I watching? You see, when people... Look back at the final deletion or whatever. It was like the so bad is good type of thing. But you still thought it was funny. This match, what was the point? I understand. You you know they, they did it for money. Okay? They did it for money. Okay? They did it for fucking money. Apparently they donated money because it's fire for a phone. They did donate. The, the theme about do them donating, they were donating to the fucking... Hawaii fire thing, which I'm I'm sorry to hear about what's going on. If you're from Hawaii, I hope you guys are doing okay. For real though, like for real, I do hope. They're, uh, I'm wondering, like, do I have people who watch me from Hawaii? But for real, like, Hawaii, aloha. Hope y'all doing all right though. Seriously, I am I am actually hoping that everyone's okay. I'm very sorry to see that. I don't like any. Again, it sucks that you know our politicians they don't fucking talk about. You know, it's funny. They only will fucking benefit from it. They only will care about it when it benefits them. Because fucking people didn't... Because Biden didn't talk about it, but Trump did when he was not president. Now they're fucking talking about it. And they're, they're trying to benefit from that shit, huh? Isn't that sad? Which... I do think this is, again, one of the coolest things that, that AEW does. is like the fight for a phone and they do charity shows. You know, it's kind of cool. I just, I just wish like it was more built up in the type of way, whatever. I mean, it's what it is. But you know, like they, they got donate a lot of money, but then they're don't apparently they're donating all of it, which like, okay, like I'm surprised they're actually donating all of it. I'm not sure. We don't, we don't know. Well, all I know is that they got, money, they got a shit ton of money because of this. Which, okay, I understand you're doing this match. Like, okay, no wonder you did this fucking match. No wonder you did a match based on the fucking movie. But can we, is it bad to not have a build? You know, is it bad to not have a fucking build? If anything, I believe fucking when Chucky was in WCW, and even when fucking Chucky was in WWE, there was more of a build for when they were doing Chucky's things. Like, they just legit just had fucking, they, they had one, top, one part of the match where, oh, get it? Letterface came out. And it's like, oh, he's chasing after Karen Jarrett. Like, we thought this could be real. It just looked fucking cornball. It looked fucking cornballish, goofy as fuck. Okay, this match. What the fuck this match was? Um, This match was atrocious, though. Okay, and I love Jeff Harding. I, I mean, 
Again, is it bad enough to do some sh establish a little story and they could just done this stupid match? Like they could have not mentioned TNA, they could have not mentioned fucking I don't know some done, done something based on their feud and then they could have just done a match with this. I, I don't know, but this match was like, it was crap anyways. This match was crap. Fucking Jeff Hardy goes backstage to attack, and then Jeff Jarrett, but then. You know, all he did, he gets attacked, but then, oh, Hardy and the house, whatever, the part, whatever, the black guys that the Hardys are with. They fucking blow, draw blood on Jarrett and, and Karen Jarrett. I'll get it, they're brooding, whatever, something. Then they go outside. There was, like, already tables placed in the, in like, why, why, you know, whatever. I don't fucking know. All I know is that. I don't even think they used much weapons. All I know is that, yeah, Jeff Hardy used a, a, a guitar during the match. Swanton threw the table, but then Jeff Jarrett's group came out to attack, uh, to stop the pin. And then, oh, Letterface came out and looked fucking retarded. I don't know, it just looks stupid. But then, oh, get it? Set Man Sting, uh, Sting comes in the ring and just choke slams him and they pin him. And it looks so fuck it. It looks so weak. This match just looked bad. And I don't want to again. I don't want to hate a Jeff Hardy match. I don't want to hate. I I don't know why people hate Jeff Jarrett. I really don't. I don't mind Jeff Jarrett. You know, I wouldn't mind if I don't have mind him being on TV. I really don't. If you establish and make him do something with him, then yeah, I don't mind that. But you're just doing some stupid mid card shit for no reason with him. But my God. What the fuck is this match? Like, seriously. I get it. You know, it was a product placement match. But, God forbid. You, it, again, product placement match, you do that all the time. WWE does it. People shit on it. This was just as bad. Okay? This was not good. It was done terribly. Not a good way of doing a product placement at all. And... Sure, okay, charity. You gave money for charity, whatever. But like, but if anything, how is it really charitable when you're doing a match that involves a massacre? Just saying. Isn't that not fucking, like... The, isn't that the opposite of what you want to do with charity? Just saying. Not trying to sound fucking, you know, soft here. But it's like, isn't that like legit the opposite of like a charitable event? Just saying. Massacre. We're gonna we're gonna do a movie based on like you couldn't have we even waited till like the next week. <laughs> like for God's, I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. That match was just shit though. That was shit. You're still doing a. Sh you have to understand. You're still doing a TV show. There are no excuses of what's good on the show. Again, I'm critiquing based on the show. I'm not hating the charity. I'm not hating fucking you know. I, again, I don't really give a fuck about tra text train Sean match. I don't care. Oh yeah, fucking the uh, Jeff Jarrett wins a fucking Letterface Championship. It's like, what the fuck is this? Okay. Again, I don't give a shit about this. I don't care about the movie. I never really cared. I was never really even a, like a big Letterface Chainsaw Massacre guy. Okay. I was always more about Halloween, Michael Myers, or Scream Ghost Ghostface shit. Okay. Jason, a little bit, even though I don't really care much. But like again, Letter, it's whatever. I mean, I get. I know that. Again, I don't know. I didn't know why. There's another Texas Chainsaw movie. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I nor do I care. Just, I don't care. I just think it's like, what the fuck, it retarded still. What you did on this show was not even good of a product placement match. It was all fucking retarded. It was all garbage. Garbage. Okay? Fucking garbage. Britt Baker defeats Allie in a, to advance to the Fatal 4 match. For the Wembley shit, and who the fuck did not expect this, huh? You see, don't be wrong. Britt Baker's always invited to my big black couch, but apparently she's a fucking cunt in real life because she's fucking like acting like bully backstage, or she insulted a fan on Twitter, like calling out her out, and then she insulted. Yeah, really fucking nice of you, you fucking cunt, huh? Wow. You know you probably deserve the fucking gay boy that you have. I don't fucking know. Maybe I'll change. Maybe I'll change your attitude if you're invited to the big black couch. But I'm sorry, I don't like country bitches. Okay, let's be real. The acclaim comes out to attack. Whatever they 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 we're gonna have a match apparently. 
they were rapping. I don't know what they were rapping. Nor do I. I don't know. They rapped something like got big ownage. I mean, I again, I wish I remembered their rap. I I know. I guarantee you probably wasn't exciting because they're good rappers and shit. So whatever. But then the House of Black takes him out and steals Billy Gunn's shoes and whatever. You know, it is what it is. I'm guessing this is leading to Billy Gunn probably coming back. I don't know. And the main event, the Young Bucks defeats the Guns. And not that I care. Bullet Club goal attack the Young Bucks. So what, they're going to do some Bullet Club versus Elite? Even though, but the, aren't they? Isn't it, ba isn't it basic? So this is basically the NWO Silver versus the original NWO mil members. Like, that's basically what it is. Okay, because Bullet Club Gold is literally the NWO Silver, but more jobbers than ever. And they're facing the, the Bullet Club people. They're facing the original NWO members in this sort of variation. Like, what the fuck am I watching here? And who fucking cares? The Young Bucks defeats, again, the guns, and then FDR saves the, gu the Young Bucks, and like, oh, you know, they face off, and they're teasing, attacking each other, and ah, wow. I don't care. I'm just thinking to myself, how how are they still going to have... How are they going to still be able to try to book a show for their All Out show? Like, clearly, the All In show is going to matter more than All Out. You know? Shouldn't that show be just known as All Out? And again, or why was hasn't this entire... Their All Out show wasn't All In? Like, wasn't that... Like, again, technically, All In was an AEW show. It was the original AEW show. Right? Maybe I don't know. Shouldn't that show been basically the, their pay per view, their WrestleMania should have been all in this entire time? Just saying. I I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Unless this is again, they're literally doing this shit now because get it? Because WrestleMania does two night WrestleManias now, and they're gonna fuck it. But they're just gonna do because they like to do this sometimes. Because they did this before when they did what is it? Fighter Fest Night One and Fighter Fest Night. They did shit like this where they did want Night One. They even do this shit. They did, did New Year Smash Night One and New Year Smash Night Two. They're do base. That's basically what it is. They're doing two nights of their supposed big pay per views. So that's basically what's gonna happen. They're gonna treat all in all out supposedly after their WrestleMania Night One and Night Two for some dumb fucking reason. Because guy WrestleMania does two nights now, even though I like, don't like it. But whatever. What can you do? Like really. Like, come on, really? I don't fucking know. Uh, I don't care about... This show was bad. No story, no real build. Sure, they try to build to the fucking... But it's like, it's rushed garbage. It's not even fucking intriguing garbage. It's rushed garbage. Like, holy shit. It's rushed shit. It's shit. Holy fuck. And who care? And that match was a jobber's main event. Like, my God, this is not intriguing. And really, MJF and Adam Cole, they're supposed to be the main eventers of the fucking show. They're the main eventing the fucking pay-per-view. And they're not even in the main event. Oh, Lord. They're not doing shit in the main event. They're not even doing a main event segment. They're not even fucking, I don't know, God forbid, have them in the match. Something or... I don't know, something... I don't fucking know. Do I care? I don't care, okay? All I have to say, AEW was trash that master match was trash i'm not again i'm not surprised this show is trash it's funny that again like what made this show different than every other show honestly because every other show was literally just like this with AEW. okay and people are, are choosing now to say this show was trash newsflash many AEW shows were trash just saying but y'all were smarts to fucking like stupid shit because I don't know. I don't know what pissed them off to not like this. What? Is it because of something with Bob? I don't fucking know. I don't know. Maybe it's fine. It's funny that you guys are finally having a brain. But yet you're still praising some stupid gay shit with AEW. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Overall, the show is trash. I'm glad I missed it. Mission, Mission Impossible is way better than this fucking film. But this fucking show... Fuck this Texas Chainsaw Massacre bullshit. Fuck, fuck that film, anyways, man. Fuck the fuck the film of last year. Fuck this upcoming film. It's probably gonna be some stupid shit, anyways. Whatever. Um. Yeah, I'm just keep it real. Get your games closed, my nasty spy. Miss bitch, go. Oh shit, oh shit. That's all I'm gonna say. Till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye. All right. Fuck AEW. It's gay W. If I can gay, bruh.